Hello again to Paul's Racing Channel. So this is race two then of our Mixed Manufacturer Championship from uh, Circuit de Barcelona in Spain. So second 30 minute race. This is reverse grid from uh, race one. So we've got Prime Machine in first, Molson second, Rodders third, Chuck in fourth, Thomas fifth, Dyson in sixth, Paul seventh, Unforgiven eighth, Jerry ninth and Wadru in tenth. Everyone starting with the mediums. Got to run 10 minutes, as you know, at least on these. I won't go through all them details. You know it by now. 10 minutes at least on them. Then, they, uh, then they've got to come in and change and probably get a bit of fuel as well. That's it in a nutshell. Let's get this race started. Remember, our sponsors, upshiftstore.co.uk, digitalmotorsports.com, pineapple grips and CD keys. So, revs are up then. Prime machine to take them off. And away we go. Good start by everybody. Thomas having a look straight away. Went straight through the middle there, I think. Thomas looking pretty good. Well, it's up to third. Molson though takes up the lead. So Molson then gets the run on Prime Machine into turn one. And Thomas going around the outside as well. Has he got him? Well, he has. And Prime's just getting a little bit bruised and battered, but keeps it there in third place, does Prime Machine. So stuck it in there. Kept it there. So loses a couple of spots, but still there in third place. And we've got Rodders in fourth, being chased down by Chuck. Oh, and Prime's gone wide and he loses it. And Prime has got it and he takes out some of the other guys. And, well, a bit of a, bit of a disaster back there. But Thomas then, meanwhile, chasing down Molson up front. Remember, this is a GT3 cars as well, so going to be a lot quicker than the GT4s from race one. So Thomas fancies this one, doesn't he? He's chasing down Molson, Rodders then. In third, Chuck fourth, Paul fifth. Chuck having a look, is he? At Rodders, he's going to have a look, but not behind them. Dyson and Unforgiven. Unforgiven's having a look up the inside, gets there. Or does he? No. Dyson still there on the outside, now he's going to be the inside. Yeah, keeps it there, good move. So Dyson then. Then Unforgiven, seventh. Jerry in eighth, Wadru. Winner of race one in ninth. Oh, Jerry with a moment, out of the chicane, he's going to lose a place to Wadru, he does. So Wadru through to eighth, Jerry back the ninth then, Prime Machine in tenth after his uh, Spin it was unfortunate because from pole position he was looking good, got himself up to third place, but then a major major disaster there. He actually collided with a couple of the other cars, I think, but he come off worse there. So it's unfortunate. Thomas meanwhile though, back up top, has got a through on Molson. So a lead has changed. Thomas takes up the running now. So he looks hungry for this one, Thomas. We know he likes to lead, doesn't he, from the front, does Thomas? And that's where we've got. Olsen, meanwhile, still in second place. It's probably better off just following Thomas now and just copy his every move. Round the fast right hand up, Chuck in third place, being chased down by Paul in fourth. So these two like the battle in race one, all together again on track here in race two. Uh, Chuck is in front now, and he's chasing down Molson, looking strong in that GT3 Peugeot. Pulled out in his. Lexus with Dyson not too far behind him now in the McLaren. Oh, and Chuck having a look at Molson is right up him now. Just see a glimpse of that coming through the chicane and he's going to get him surely down the end of this start to finish. Paul's trying his best to get into their slip as well and I think he's got there too. So here we go. The battle's on for three cars down here in turn one. I don't think Paul's going to have any say in it, but Molson covering. Chuck though. Uh, just slots in again into the third place with Paul right up behind him in fourth. So, little three car battle here, early doors. 
Four minutes in. Oh, a little bit twitchy now. Held it well though, then, boys. And uh, Paul having a look. It's not far off up there. Oh, and dies and uh, Molson runs wide. No, I thought we'd run wide and allow Chuck through. Oh, a little tag from Chuck, and he knocks the back of Molson, but give him the spot back, or just let him have that, keep that spot near in second place. It was a little tag, wasn't intentional, of course, but Thomas, meanwhile, is up front. Someone's in the pits, and I think that might be Prime Machine, so maybe after that race one malfunction, they haven't got the car going again, and no, he's gone into the garage, and that's the end of that. So he's not returning in this race. So Prime Machine's out of this. Car's in the garage, and Dyson's got through on Paul. So Dyson's nicked a place. Good driving, actually. Now he's pressuring and got right on the back of Chuck and Molson. So I don't know where he's come from, but certainly he's got a lot of pace in that McLaren. In fact, he looks really pacey in that McLaren, doesn't he? And up the inside of Chuck as well. Has he got there? I don't know, it's all very tight through there. Careful, boys. Actually, it's pretty clean, considering. Chuck's still hanging on in third, but Molson, uh, with uh, Dyson, though, pushing on a hell of a lot of pressure. And he's got through past Chuck, at least temporarily anyway, along this... No, he has got there. So Dyson then, up to third. Right up behind Molson. Can he get him? Not yet, he can't, but no, he can't. He might do now, because Molson's had a bit of a squiggle on, a bit of a slide. He covers it. Look at this battle for these four cars. Paul's there as well. So's Wadrew now. He's come into play as well with the background out. With his yellow lights shining. That's not who you want to see behind you. And up the inside goes Dyson up on Molson. Gets there. And Chuck's going to follow him through as well. As Molson lost two spots. Not quite. But he's lost one. Oh, and he's gone around the outside. Chuck. Can he keep it there? He has. So Chuck's got to third place. Good move around the outside from Chuck. He's following Dyson, isn't he? But Dyson does look quick, I've got to say. In second place, Chuck in third. Molson now. Paul's attacking Molson. And Molson's attacking Chuck. Oh, my goodness me. Look at this. Literally, you could throw a sheet over these five cars. They're that close together. And Paul up the inside. Molson goes wide. Now he's going to have a look, surely, Paul. I think he's got there, though. No, he thought about it, but maybe just didn't quite have as much drive out of there as the Merc. So, this free car battle now with Wadru involved as well. And uh, here he goes. Can he get through? His next car gets pulled and through the chicane. What a battle this is. In the background, you've got Unforgiven, 7th Jerry, 8th. I'm going to stick with this for the second, though, because as they head down to this turn one, who's going to be in what position? Oh, Chuck's attacking Dyson for second as well. Myson runs wide. And Paul goes through. I keep calling him Myson. It's Molson. Don't know where I'm getting Myson from. Don't even know what that is. But anyway, Molson did go wide, and now he's under attack from Wadru now. And they can get there. Molson, go back to the fifth then. Modru is going to go up the inside if the little gap opens. Well, there it is now. Trouble is, he's on the outside now, going into his next left-hander. He did the switchbacks, maybe. Oh, yeah, look, but Molson was wise to that. Covered it. Well, this is a great battle up here. Third, fourth, fifth and sixth place. Molson then. I think he might have lost that place now. No, he doesn't. So still in fifth place. So doing well to keep Wadru behind him. How about down here at the hairpin? Well, he covers on the inside, doesn't he? Unforgiven. He's going to be sniffing around in a minute behind Wadru as well. And one runs wide again, does Molson. And that's the opportunity Wadru was looking for in his pass. So Molson back to sixth now. Unforgiven. There he is in seventh place. He's coming up to this battle and Molson off into the dirt and the sand. And that's not going to help him is he because Unforgiven now is attacking him so just been put under a little bit of pressure 
over this last couple of laps of Molson and he's uh, I'm not going to say he's crumbled a little bit but uh, just feeling it a little bit so maybe the car wasn't quite handling as well as he, he thought press on them mediums remember everyone is on the medium so no one's really should be pulling away although I haven't said that Thomas is uh, he's doing a grand job there with his mediums on and we've got Rodders in eighth with a little battle with Jerry in ninth place and of course Prime he hasn't returned from the garage cars in there it's up on the jacks now and that's the end of that for him so Jerry then trying to see if he can get past Rodders in eighth place but let's just go back and have a look at that battle up the top here well I thought it was a bit closer than that actually although I haven't said that Chuck's attacking Dyson 10 minutes into this race and then Paul's not that far off either so these three are going for it and there's Thomas in the distance there just going around the hairpin now they're at that point now Dyson no still in second place Chuck now right up behind him to see what happens through the tight chicane just after this right hander right at this point now because this is where you can make a mistake quite easily and lose spots and time and there's a little mistake from Chuck or is it a mistake well no it's not he did decide to come in so he's the first one to blink just after 10 minutes he's uh, decided his time one through then up to fourth Chuck drops all the way back to the back so has that strategy worked? He's the first one to blink now, leaving it very, uh, well, going very early to get them tyres changed. He obviously feels he can do a lot better on those super softs for the remaining 20 minutes or so. But Wardrew, uh, next target is Paul ahead of him. He should have a lot more pace, or more pace, I should say, in the Corvette than on the Lexus. So we'll see but along the straights the power should be a lot more than what the Lexus has got Unforgiven meanwhile in fifth place Molson down to sixth now but uh, Unforgiven having a look oh did I think Molson might have yeah I think I just heard the squeal of tyres there for Molson again just locking the brakes at that point Jerry's got pass rodders so Jerry has got up into seventh place now Rodders back to eighth. Now, who's the next one going to be to blink here? Jerry, flashing for the camera. Hello, Jerry. And uh, so head up around this next section. Who's coming in? I don't think Thomas will be. No. So. And see how who gets the next one to go in if anyone does this lap they might not but what we're into 12 and a half minutes gone oh and Dyson does come in so Dyson's next in and Unforgiven so got a couple in now let's uh, push Water up to second who did get past Paul so Paul's back to third Battle here, Jerry up the inside of Molson. Molson with a penalty, Rodders having a look as well. So, Molson must have got that penalty through the chicane at the end of the last lap. Of course, he's got the full lap, the following lap to get rid of it. But he's lost that place to Jerry. And he's under attack from Rodders as well. Going up to nearly halfway through this race now. Been cracking racing here at Barcelona. Lovely summer's evening. Pushing his rodders, trying to get past Molson. Molson still with that small bit of penalty left. He'll get rid of that down here with the hairpin. Thank you. 
Well, okay, he didn't get it at the hairpin. That's where we did last time. We're going to try and run it off round before he gets to chicane, maybe. But really, I think the hairpin might have been the opportunity. Rodders is not leaving off, though. He's, uh, oh, they're going to come in anyway, so he's going to get rid of the penalty probably for when he goes in. So all of them coming in now. Paul's in, Wadra's in, Jerry's in, Rodders in, Molson's in. So let's go to the track and see where that's going to bring him because obviously he was the first one to, to blink, wasn't he? And he's going to go up in the second place here because he's going to pass all of these guys in the pits now. There he goes. It's a second for him. Dyson up to third. So where's that going to come out when Thomas decides to come in? I'm forgiven the fourth. But Thomas then, Chuck second, Dyson third. Paul's come out in fourth then, so he's been in and come out in fourth place. So not a bad pit there for him, in fact, I can't remember where he was when he came in, but I'm sure he was higher than fourth place. So at the moment, he may have been fourth actually, thinking about it. So, I don't think he's actually lost anything now. And now they're all on the, the super softs, all the way to the end. And actually, I think Paul probably overfueled. Could have probably been a bit closer to Dyson and Chuck. Had he not overfueled, I think he put a bit too much in. I think he was trying to be more, more safe than sorry there, but it might have cost him some time, well it definitely cost him some time, but he's in fourth, Unforgiven then, in fifth, there's the boys ahead of them, Audrey back down to sixth, Rodders in seventh, Molson eighth, so Audrey, let's see where he can get to now after that stop. Thomas, of course, still way out in front is Thomas. Almost, well, look at the, if you look at the map at the top, he's almost, well, half the lap pretty much ahead of him, aren't, isn't he? But he hasn't come in, of course. Tyres look pretty good too. Got plenty of fuel, but he's only got four minutes left before he's got to change. So whether he'll stay out there for one more lap or not, he's got, certainly got the tyres and the fuel to be able to do that. Or does he come in now at the end of this lap and just see what happens with that sort of gap? Well, I think it'll be closer than what you think, but it's a pretty healthy gap, I've got to say. So it'll be interesting to see. So I'll get back to... Well, actually, I think I'll stick with Thomas as we watch him come round. I think much else is happening behind. So let's just stick with Thomas then and just see, see if he's going to get one more lap out of this or whether he's going to come in. And the tight air being second gear. Now up the gearbox. Drops it back down the second. Quick little third place change up the fourth. Back down to third. And then through this chicane. Drops it down to second. Maybe possibly first. Yes, he does. There you go. Now, does he come in? No. So he's going to get one more lap in before he's got to change because of the time so that's it then so Thomas is there we'll come back to him in a minute see where he comes out Chuck oh did he just have a moment when I come to him Looked like he was a little bit out of shape might have just touched that curb but anyway still in second place which is good Dyson third remember these have all all been in Chuck's obviously got warmer tires than everybody else having come in first but of course they're going to be wearer, but they are going to be worn down more than the others, aren't they? But uh, still good second place. Dyson looking hungry in third. Looks like he's, as I said before, looks like he's got a lot of pace in that McLaren. So he's uh, looking for second place, isn't he? Paul in fourth, still in fourth with Unforgiven still behind him in fifth place. Looking pretty comfortable there at the moment. Although, let's not speak too soon, still got 12 minutes of this race. Unforgiven then, chasing him down, trying to in fifth place. It does look like he's gaining as well. So maybe, a little flash from the Unforgiven. It's just a little uh, 
hello to Paul saying, who's behind, look who's behind you. You better get going, boy. And that's what Paul's gonna try and do. Wadru, sixth place. Unusual to see him back there, but he was in a load of cars that came in. So again, maybe he well overfilled, didn't he? Look at his fuel tank. It's pretty much almost full. So he I think he uh, overcompensated a little bit like Paul did. He didn't win as quite as bad as Wadru there, but I think he just went a little bit too much on there, Wadru, which is why he's down in sixth place. Spent a little bit too much time in the stop fueling up. But anyway, I'm not going to sit here and tell him what to do. He's won a lot more than what I've won. So Rod is then seventh place. And then Molson in eighth and Jerry back down in ninth, still in ninth place. So had a good race, in, race one, didn't he, Jerry? In the GT4, and he came in second place. But uh, well, I just can't quite get it on this one. Race two, Kenny. So let's just have a look at Thomas then and see, see where he is. And we're still quite a way round, so let's just go back to maybe go back to the port. Unforgiven, Wadru battle and right on cue. Unforgiven, unforgiven. Blimey, put my teeth in tonight. Sorry, guys. Through the fourth, pull back the fifth. Wadru now. Hunting them two down, or hunting Paul down at least. Paul having a look, see if he can get back that fourth place, not quite. But he's right up behind Unforgiven again. So, this is certainly where the battle is. I'll keep an eye on Thomas anyway. I'm not going to go to him, we'll just keep an eye on his name, see if he comes in. Well, he's got to come in, as I said, he's got no choice. But he's got plenty of gap as he comes around that last chicane now so should be heading into the pits any minute now it's thomas with nine minutes left and he's in there we are so anyway back to this one no unforgiven fourth place so actually let's go back with chuck and just see oh and he's got a penalty right at the wrong time although having said that is late on in the yeah, well, yeah, I suppose he has got to get rid of it before the start or finish. That's unfortunate because he could have been on for getting past Thomas. He gets rid of it there. It means Dyson takes up second place. So where does Thomas come out then? Let's go back to Thomas and see. Well, he's coming out now, isn't he? Where does he come out? Well, where Dyson and Chuck is. Well, he's going to come back out in front, isn't he? Just, I think. There's going to be a lot in it. No, he doesn't. Dyson's got him. So Dyson takes up the lead. So, although I haven't said that, of course. Oh no, but he's on mediums, isn't he now, Thomas? So, could Dyson be on for his debut win in this group? We've got eight minutes left, so certainly not over yet, but he's in a cracking position here because even though Thomas is close behind, Thomas is on the mediums. Got to get them ties up the temp as well but it does look strong Thomas I've got to say even on sorry he's on the uh... yeah, he's on the mediums now isn't he yeah I was right so still looks strong on those mediums no he's on super soft what am I talking about sorry Do you know what I think I'll start again you know what I mean anyway he's second place nice and there in first he's attacking now he's Thomas no, not quite. Chuck. Back there in third. But what a great little battle up here, top at the front. So it's whether Dyson can hold off Thomas for the remaining seven minutes. Or not. That's the question, and that will be answered by the time we get to the end. But uh, at the moment, it is Dyson, Thomas second, Chuck third. Still unforgiven in fourth, Paul still in fifth, Wadru still in sixth. But Wadru's going to be attacking Paul now. At turn one, he's going to get him. No, he doesn't. And Paul, oh, almost had a look at unforgiven. 
you know, oh, Paul runs wide or is he wide? No, I think that's just the, the sweeping way through that left-hander. Well, Drew Dent, sixth place. And then we've got Rodder still in seventh. He's trying his best to get onto these group in front of him as well. And then there's a biggest gap back to Jerry and Molson. But Jerry's got past Molson, so up to eighth place now, Jerry. So he's made a spot up now. Molson back to ninth. And Molson just can't quite get the grips with this. GT3 car around this circuit here in race two. Of course, the light's just fading a little bit. Probably the temperature's gone down there, obviously, from what it was in race one, which is uh, is going to have an effect, isn't it, on the tyres and the handling of the cars. But uh, Paul and Nordrew attacking Paul. He's got him, surely, here at the hairpin. Paul's not going to give it to him easy, but he's going to get him. Nordrew and Paul still there, is he? Oh, and it's neck and neck side by side. Paul's now going to be on the inside, although he got on the curve a little bit there. Wardrew's going to have the power on the exit there, it did. So Wardrew up to fifth, Paul back down to sixth now, unforgiven. Still in fourth. So, tried his best, Paul, to keep Wardrew behind him as long as he could, but it didn't happen. Unforgiven, meanwhile. He's going to be seeing if he can fend off uh, Wardrew now to try and keep his fourth place with five minutes left. Easier said than done. And that's your fifth and sixth place boys and then Rodders in seventh there. Dyson and uh, Thomas though are still at it up top. Dyson doing a splendid job up there still keeping Thomas behind him. But I reckon Thomas is just keeping his powder dry and he'll be attacking when he feels it's time and this could be the time. No, I think he knows he's got a bit of time left so he's just eyeing up his options and uh, he'll attack I reckon when he feels it's the appropriate time but maybe down here but not far enough up there. Chuck's still in third place, can't quite keep with these boys. Oh, and a squiggle from Dyson, so that could be the opportunity for Thomas. Not the opportunity he was looking for, but he'll take it if it is given to him. Right, actually, Dyson done well to keep that under control in the end. Now, is Thomas going to get as close as he can along the start finish? It was a, wasn't the cleanest through there, though, was it? So now, he's just got a couple of car lengths between himself and Thomas now. So head on to lap 16 with three minutes left. So probably get one more lap in after this. So here we are, the final race. It's going to be coming down to these two, I think. What a battle this has been as well. That's some cracking races. <laughs> Oh, some cracking battles, I should say, here at Barcelona. And Thomas has gone for it, and he's gone up the inside of Dyson. And that was the point. He got him. So now, oh, and Dyson has gone wide, gone onto the grass, and that's it. That's the opportunity. Thomas took it, got it. Dyson just messed it up a little bit there. And I don't think he's going to come back from that. So Thomas could be on for another victory. Chuck, meanwhile, in third place. Wadru has got past Unforgiven, so Wadru up to fourth. Unforgiven back to fifth. Paul in sixth still. So this certainly is where the battle is between these three. Then we've still got Wadru seventh, Jerry eighth, Molson ninth. So actually, Wadru going to get fourth place barring any mistakes which you don't get from him very often and uh, I don't think even he can catch Chuck in third place here so not a bad result in the end for Wadrew with one lap remaining as they head along the start and finish for the final time oh 
all following each other through the slip. But didn't really gain on him. We well, suppose he did a little bit, but corner came up on him a bit too quick, so couldn't get past Unforgiven. So stays in fifth. But this is going to go on to the end. I fancy Paul might just be tailing off a little bit off of the back of these two now. I think he's uh, had all he can have on those tyres. Oh, more Drew, does he go wide there? Or is that a tight line from Unforgiven? Well, either way, Unforgiven looking like he's certainly got a lot of pace in that BMW as well. So a good little battle between these two. Yeah, Paul's just falling off the back now. I think that's it for him. Sixth place, I think. Final lap it is. So another great race from the Ultimate Racing League. Please like and subscribe to my channel. If you like what you see, check out all our Facebook and social media platforms for our group, for all the information you need on, on us. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for all your support. As Thomas comes round the final chicane, congratulations Thomas, victory race two, Dyson with a great second place unfortunately in there, not to uh, have got maybe the win there, Chuck in third, good third place for Chuck and then it is Wadrew fourth, Unforgiven fifth, Paul in sixth, then we've got Rodders coming over in seventh place. Jerry in eighth. And then Molson in ninth. And then Course Prime, who retired and didn't finish in the tenth place. So there's your race two. And I'll see you again for round five. I'll see you then.